This is Hirul Prabhu. I'm the founder of Proverbs 26. This morning I'm going to be talking about what is Proverbs 26. It's actually from a verse in the Bible, Proverbs chapter 22, verses 6. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he's old, he will not depart from it. The mission of Proverbs 2 to 6 is to help kids whose parents are in prison. And uh, the way we do that uh, is very unique. And the reason why is because uh, a lot of times when people talk about prison ministry, they're talking about like a how, you know, someone kills somebody or, uh, you know, they're talking about recidivism. They're talking about like, a, you know, so many different facets of prisons. But what we are more concentrated on are the children of inmates. Why? Because the children of inmates, if you have a father or mother in prison, your chance of going into prison is about 82%. And there are two issues that circles around the children of inmates. The number one issue, and it's almost like an epidemic in America, that uh, it is uh, not having fathers at home. 25 million households in this country don't have fathers at home. Proverbs 2 to 6 is aiming its, uh, all its efforts to help these children reconnect and reconstruct their relationship with their fathers. Number two, the education. The lack of education in the lives of these children is just like a fastly moving these kids into that pipeline. One out of eight kid that goes to elementary school in this country does not complete high school. That is about 6.6 .6 million children that don't continue their education. The national statistics say 75% of the national crime that is committed by high school dropouts. And so we wanted to help these kids uh, to get out and go to school and not drop out of it. And so here's how we accomplish this, uh, to reconcile and reconstruct the relationship. We take these children into the prison. We allow the fathers to get on their knees and wash their children's feet and ask for forgiveness. This is how the fathers are registering or uh, bringing their children into this program. Then we help with these kids uh, with the mentoring. We help with these kids to just like uh, take them through to college and uh, we pay scholarship for these children. When we started this journey in 2012, we couldn't find one kid that could go to school. But today, 10 years fast forward, we have 82 children in college. When we started the journey, we have no idea where we are going to go, but today, after 10 years, we are finding 1.8% recidivism when a national average is about 70%. What does it mean? Like when a father gets released from the prison, the state and the government says 70% of the time, these guys will come back into prison in the first three to six months. But here, years go by, these fathers who wash their children's feet are not coming back into prison. This is a change that the Bible talks about how he will turn the hearts of the fathers towards their children and hearts of the children towards their fathers. And when that happens, the prisons will close down. When that happens, those prisons will be turned into schools. When that happens, the children will no longer be the prime target of going into prison. If we can bring the fathers back into the lives of these children, crime in this nation will come down. Thank you for watching us um, today. And uh, you can reach us at Proverbs226.org or you can see us in Facebook.com slash Proverbs226.